Trump publicly humiliates Michael Moore, it's brutal. Do people still care about Michael Moore? Apparently not, and President Trump took notice. Yesterday, the president posted a tweet mocking the documentary filmmaker for his failed show on Broadway. While not at all presidential I must point out that the sloppy Michael Moore show on Broadway was a total bomb and was forced to close. Sad. In late July, Michael Moore, creator of documentaries such as Bowling for Columban and Fahrenheit 9-11, decided to perform a one-man show on Broadway. The play, entitled The Terms of My Surrender, was an ambition production with an ambitious tagline, Can a Broadway show bring down a sitting president? Apparently, it can't. The play, which was detailed the filmmaker's life and his political views, was a 12-week, 88-show run. According to Forbes, the show did not have enough critical and commercial support to become a success. Michael Moore's The Terms of My Surrender earned a total gross of $4.2 million during its run. This amounts to less than half of what it would have earned if it had sold out each night. In the final week, it earned $367,634 in ticket sales, which added up to only 47.2% of its gross potential. The week before, it earned a paltry $296,116 of a $778,176 ceiling. The critics were not too fond of the production. Theater critic Jesse Green slammed the play in an August review for The New York Times. He called it shaggy and self-aggrandizing. He also wrote that Moore's shtick has become disagreeable with age. But it gets worse. According to Forbes, the general consensus between publications such as The New York Times, The New Yorker, and The Los Angeles Times was that Moore's play was inferior in quality, especially because he is not an experienced performer. Perhaps it is easier to edit documentary footage in a way that is deceptive than it is to perform a one-man play spouting leftist talking points. Charles McNulty, the resident theater critic at the Los Angeles Times wrote I have no political beef with Moore, but I found myself cringing at the self-congratulatory applause that would break out when he would utter one of his pieties. And I lost patience with the way he seemed to both want sympathy for being a victim of the right and adulation for being the champion of all mankind. A professional in the entertainment industry such as Michael Moore should get the hint, but apparently, he doesn't. Regardless of the fact that his show was a complete and utter failure, he plans to take the show on the road, or so he said in an interview with the Wall Street Journal. He also stated that performing the act was the most artistically gratifying experience of my life. Well, Mr. Moore can go ahead and take that show on the road, but he may find himself less than satisfied with the reception. If the filmmaker desires to use an inferior production to perpetuate his leftist views, why should anyone stop him? If he's using a medium that he is not good at, it means he won't be focusing on creating deceptive documentaries. Godspeed, Michael Moore, Gilmore.